Hello, hello everyone. It's me again, James, the PH teacher, your stitchy friend from the Philippines, bringing to you another FlushTube video update. Welcome, especially to the new viewers or who are watching for the first time. This video is all about cross stitching, where I will be sharing to everyone my cross stitch uh, projects, the progress of my cross stitch project, progress or whips. Welcome. If you are into cross stitching, then this is the right video or channel for you. And please do subscribe on my channel. Just click the subscribe button. So my regular viewers, my existing subscribers, welcome back once again. And thank you, thank you very much for coming back and making a time on seeing or peeking what is happening on my cross stitch projects or the progress of my cross stitch projects or whips. Thank you very much. And of course, to the new subscribers, I know that there have been an uptick or yes, there have been an uptick on the number of subscribers for the past two weeks. I welcome everyone, the new subscribers, welcome and I hope you have liked what you have seen on my um, previous uh, videos and of course hoping that you will uh, always come back whenever there is uh, an update on my uh, another video update of this Flushroom channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do click the subscribe button and thank you very much and welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. So today is um, April 9, it is Easter Sunday. Happy Easter to everyone who is celebrating Easter Sunday. I hope you had a, a great time uh, spending uh, the, holiday, the long weekend here in the Philippines. It's a very long weekend here because of the Holy Week. So since Wednesday or others are since Thursday uh, we have no work so everyone is uh, probably uh, on their with their families at their home or maybe a they are on vacation from uh, outside their homes or to another place so I hope you have a great time and I hope you have a lot of time uh, stitching with your favorite cross stitch projects so speaking of new subscribers i would like to thank this following uh, fellow flushubers who have uh, been kind to share uh, on her on their um, uh, viewers my uh, flush tube channel so i was very happy that uh, they have also um what you feature my pattern on their channel so thank you very much for first is we have stacy miss stacy the 911 stitcher so she have she had mentioned me on her uh last latest i think last uh plus tube uh video so thank you very much i always um watch her channel because aside from um watching the her whips that are mostly uh, samplers. Um, I also love to uh, see the different uh, new, um, new, really, new re, newly released uh, designs. So she also she always featured that one on her uh, video. So thank you very much, Miss Stacy, for uh, featuring me 
on uh, on your plush tube video next is miss amy amy pope which is the globe trotting uh, stitcher she also featured me on her channel thank you very much and also my pattern so thank you very much miss amy for uh for that kind uh shall we call gesture on showing my cross stitch pattern to your viewers and lastly kelly pages and stitches she also uh mentioned me and also um showed my first uh cross stitch uh pattern release which is um cross stitch tools and i was very happy that she will be uh, doing uh, uh, that pattern she already had a i think she already had a fabric and also she will also make uh, some changes on the pattern so that it will be at it will be personalized or it, yes it will be a personalized um project so thank you very much miss um kelly pages and stitches so if you happen to uh, if you want to um get a copy of this um pattern of mine so just uh, message me on uh my instagram account which is james the page teacher and also on uh, my facebook page which is um james the page teacher also and also and lastly my email address i will be um posting it down below on the description uh description box below so and also if uh i i i am also having a stitch along with this project which is x stitch tools sal so if you happen to have that pattern i hope I, I know some of uh, you have uh have this uh, pattern already so please do if you want to start that one so please do use the hashtag x stitch tools sal next is i want to make some shout outs of uh these fellow filipino flush tubers these are my stitchy one of my stitchy friends here in the philippines i always uh asked them some questions about fancy ladies when i started to uh, have or when i started to stitch fancy ladies i always go to them and ask some questions because they are more they have more experience on stitching fancy ladies i am an avid fan of their works and also i am a an avid buyer of their distash uh, chart and also the other one has an online um local needlework shop first one is a uh, stitch with extin actually i already um made a shout out on my previous previous videos but this time i want you to go to her channel because she recently uploaded uh a video of her videos of her uh whip parade so i want you to go to her channel and i bet that you will be uh, you will enjoy what you will be seeing there especially her fancy ladies fancy ladies and other projects so please do go to her channel and subscribe stitch with hexteen so she has a an online local needle workshop which is the needle art collection here in the philippines and i all of the most of the fabrics that you have seen especially on the fancy ladies are i purchased uh, these on her shop and also some of the fancy lady uh fancy lady charts so i uh just uh, go to her uh online shop and then uh, purchase there 
So, don't forget to click visit her channel, Stitch with Xteen, and subscribe. The other one um, is uh, you've already seen his works on um, Instagram and you will be in awe with his works because some of his or most of his works are uh, are on conversion fancy ladies conversion so uh, if you happen to follow him which is the closet self on Instagram so he recently uh, uploaded his first uh, plush tube video which is entitled shelf number one And his uh, floss tube channel's name is Moist Closet. So I'll just insert the his channel channel name. Uh, I'm excited for for the next floss tube uh, videos of Sir Moy. So I call him Sir Moy because I admire uh, the his work. I know that. Uh, when converting uh, fancy lady, it's uh, you have the talent and you have the creativity to do do that one. So uh, I don't have uh, that yet, but I hope I can also have uh, uh, that talent when it comes to converting fancy ladies to other colors. So. Those are my shout outs. So this is Flush Shoe number 34, and this is episode 13 of Bellas and Miras. So every other Flush of video update, so I will be having my Bellas and Miras. So this is episode 13. So on this video, I will be showing to you four uh, fancy ladies that I have worked on for the past two weeks. And I am very, very happy to share to everyone that I have finished two fancy, lady, two fancy ladies. And let us start. First one is... From Mirabilia, this is um, a Midsummer Night's Fairy, and I have been stitching this one for a year already. I think I've started this one uh, last February, last year, 2021, and I finally finished this one on April 1 or April 2. So this is now my final my finished one of midsummer night's fair so this is stitched on a 16 count zweigart uh, fabric and it is stitched on one by one. Actually, when I measure this one, this the fabric, it, it is um, 17. Am I right? Yes, yeah, 17. So I have uh, difficulty on putting out the beads on this part so uh, I managed to um, not to complete all the beading just to fit in the beads over here so it was a very very uh, tedious 
when it comes to bidding. So that this is my first finish for this year. And my fourth, uh, third fancy Mirabilia finish. So I haven't framed any of my finished uh, fancy lead. So once again for the last time, this is Midsummer Night's Fairy. Okay, next is another finish, which is also a mirabilia. With uh, this is deepest love. This I I also started this one last year, um, last February, and I stitched this one on a lighter fabric, which is the fabric of the Midsummer Night's Fairy. But I was not contented on the outcome of it so i restarted it to a much darker fabric which is i think peter gray 16 count and last friday i finally finished the best love and this is now her My second finish for this year and my fourth Mirabilia finish. So I stitched, completed the stitches here and also her tail and also this one. Then after that, I uh, made the i mean i put the beads the funny thing is i posted it already on uh, instagram also on my facebook uh, facebook page and then later on i forgot to stitch this cranic on her scales this one so i deleted the post on Instagram and uh, repost it again with this new update. So this is Deepest Love. Look at her. And also I've made some changes on her hands. This one. And another, an another fun, funny story as I've been stitching her fingers the first uh, after after I stitched uh, after stitching the fingers, I've I've counted the fingers and there were six fingers. Oh my gosh! So I need to uh, frog again. This the back stitches and this is now the result. So I hope it looks good. The fingers looks good. So she has five fingers. <laughs> I love the beading over here without the beads it will just be a, a plain mermaid but look at this one wow so that is deepest love my second finished of the year so next is another mermaid from mirabilia which is mermaid of the pearls so so this is not the progress of mermaid of the pearls So I have started bidding on her head and her hair. So I am now on this part. 
beating all the curls over here so all the big beads are already there so just need to fill out the pearl 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 beads so i hope that i can finish this one in uh in may and that's it mermaid of the pearls lastly the last uh, project that i have worked on is from bella filipina this is the portrait of maria clara and and this is a uh, this is where i am with maria clara So let's focus on this one. So I have worked on the, this part of her dress. So it's like a chessboard. But I love the effect of, uh, of this one. So this is now officially my oldest fancy lady whip. So I started this one on March, I guess, March last year. So I wanted, so this will be my focused um, Bella Filipina project. So that's it, portrait of Maria Clara. So those are my finishes and my whips for this past two weeks. <clears throat> I forgot about what is happening behind my back. So I promised you or I mentioned on my previous video that I will be posting my FFOs. So here are my FFOs. I have changed my table on uh, the other part the other uh, area here in my room so i decided to put the my ffos uh, on top of my cabinet so what's behind on my cabinet so here are some of the uh, box of um bobinated thread my fancy lady patterns here and also some boxes of my thread so unfortunately actually i've hanged uh this one on my wall i use some adhesive tape but it was a disaster so the the frame the the, the 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 two frames just fell off to the ground and the frame was destroyed so i only have this one with the with just the back cover of the frame so i still need to um purchase again the frame and find another way on how will i will on how will i be posting it on the wall but for now i will be just displaying these at the back so this is the surviving um ffo only one survived but don't you worry um maybe in the pa in the next uh videos you will be seeing more of the uh more of my ffos on this top of my uh cabinet drawer so let us go now to my plans so 
my plans for my fancy lady stitching schedule which will be on may so i will be discussing this on uh discussing my plans for my fancy ladies uh for this may so let's start with my mirabilia so as i've said i will be um focusing to finish this may mermaid of the pearl since it's on the bidding process already although um she has tons of beads but i hope i can finish it in may the next next in line on mermaid of the pearls is my winter queen so you will be seeing winter queen on my next bellas and mirrors episode and then of course the next one is the spring queen okay so these are the three uh fancy ladies that i will be stitching for the month of may this is just a plan but it might change depends on my mood or depends how my brain works for the um bellas bella filipina i want to focus more on um reina mariposa and also of course uh, the portrait of maria clara and the last one is um what's this the queen flower fairy so this three three one so but i will be also inserting aquamarina for the next uh for the next uh bellas and miras um stitchy schedule stitching schedule now let's go to my um possible new starts it may be on may or in maybe june or july or august but i've chosen these four uh charts that i want to start the first one is the lady of the mist supposed to be uh she she should be started am i right i should start this one on i should be starting this one on last february fancy lady but there is some issue on the fabric so so i want to start her the other one is we have the garden verses so i haven't uh purchased yet the fabric but i want to uh stitch them on uh cream or a brownish lightish brown fabric so say so in a couple of months and then of course for bella filipina i will be st starting to stitch first we have the um queen sari and also the fairy irie descends yes irie descends so still haven't got uh any fabric for them but i am wanting to stitch them on a bluish uh, fabric just like a light blue or sky blue a darker sky blue fabric this one 
So, those are my possible new stars. So, next, the last one is I will be showing to you my um, purchases for the past uh, month. So, the first one is the February release of Bella Filipina, which is the Phoenix Queen. I think I haven't uh, shared it to you, to everyone, the Phoenix Queen. And last March, um, Bella Filipina uh, has a new chart release, which is Pontus. And there are two. So this is the picture of the new chart release. Next are my beads. So I have been purchasing bead, beads for my fancy ladies and these are some of what I have now. First one, this is, I've uh, I purchased this one on uh, another local online needle workshop which is Craft Works. So it is owned by Miss Rosie. Thank you very much, Miss Rosie, for um, for these uh, uh, these beads. So first is the beads for the summer queen. There you go. And then this is these are the beads for the winter queen and also the whisper thread and i also have the cranic of the winter queen and then i also have the beads for the rose celebration and then for the sleeping beauty this one. Also for the Spring Queen. So I have also the beads for the portrait of Maria Clara. I purchased this one way, way last year. And the Royal, Royal Holiday. So only the beads, not the uh, clinic. And she gifted me this one, pin cushion, uh, heart pin cushion with a lace. Thank you, Miss Rosie, for this one. So those are my purchases for now. So I already purchased the beads and the threads, special threads I mean, for the Queen Flower Fairy. So I haven't received it yet. So I will be showing you that once I receive it on my next uh uh, Bellas and Miras episode. So that's it for now on this video. I hope you've liked what you have seen on my finishes and also my whips and also my plans. So if you have the same plan as mine on my possible new starts, you can um, comment down below or you can message me on my Instagram and my Facebook uh, page James the page teacher if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe and like also my video so that it can help on uh, growing my uh, viewers and also my channel so that's it for now uh, next week will be I will be featuring my 
uh, uh, owl forests and non full, full coverage whips so that is for uh, the next two weeks and then on the first two weeks of May I will be uh, uh, featuring my full coverage uh, whips so bye bye everyone and happy stitching and happy Easter Thank you.